Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're gonna be doing August favorites, which I'm gonna say the cliche thing. I can't believe that we're in fall already. It's so crazy, but mama's pretty happy about it. As much as I love the summertime, I by far love fall way more. Not that I like what comes after it with winter, but I just love getting snuggly and having candles around me and wearing comfy sweaters and all that kind of stuff. It just speaks to my soul. So I'm gonna be showing you the things I have been obsessing over through the month of August. So if you're interested, then just keep on watching. If you like this video while you're watching it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, please also don't forget to hit the little red subscribe button before you leave. I would love to have you come and join this community. And if you're gonna join the community here, you may as well hop on over to Facebook where I have my amazing private Facebook group, The Style Squad, where we've got almost a thousand women that are sharing daily outfit inspiration their self-love journeys, um, funny quotes and memes, and it is just a super, super positive and inspiring group. So I would love to have you guys come hop on over there and hang out with us. And if you're gonna do that, you may as well hop on over to Instagram as well, as that's where I also tend to be very active and would love to have you join me there as well. So I have quite the roundup of things for August. And one of the first things that I really, really have been loving that you guys, I kind of told you would happen in July, and that is the new Kesha album. I really love her new music. I was never like a huge Kesha fan, but now that you know the girl can actually sing and now that she's got this really, I don't know, it's almost this sort of like retro throwback around like about her vibe. I don't know. I just love her new music and I constantly play her new album on repeat. So if you have not already downloaded it to listen to it, I highly recommend it. It's just really great feel good music. And yeah, I just, I really, really love it. I'm so shocked, actually even to the point where I went and purchased some concert tickets for her concert upcoming in October and I'm so excited to go to that. So yeah, who knows, I'm, who knew, sorry, I'm, I'm on the Kesha train. <laughs> also in music, I kind of hate that I'm saying this, but I love Taylor Swift's new song. Like I really, really love it. I like that she's changing her image only in that I've always found her to be very calculating and um, not quite as innocent as she has portrayed herself to come off. Um, and I don't necessarily like her. She kind of drives me nuts, but her new song, something about it. I hate that I've got it on repeat, but I really, really like it. And uh, I'm interested to see how she continues her new image. Um, but like I said, she kind of drives me nuts as an individual, but the song, the song is good. Now, next on the list is a book. And you guys, if you follow me on my Instagram, um, you probably would have seen this all over my Instagram stories or even Snapchat because I know I would have had it there as well. But I was really into this book by Carrie Green called She Means Business. It's a book for women that are female entrepreneurs that are either starting out in their journey or are well into their entrepreneurial journey. And it's just filled with fantastic tips and inspiring things to just keep you motivated along Along your entrepreneurial journey. If any of you are entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs sorry, out there, you will know that the road is filled with a lot of highs and lows and it can be challenging sometimes to keep yourself motivated since you are your boss and the one that holds your schedule and it can feel overwhelming at times and lonely at times and it's both amazing and super frustrating at the same time. So I loved, loved, loved this book. I found it so incredibly relatable and I got a lot of inspiration from this book. So if any of you are doing a side hustle looking to get full-time or if you're full-time entrepreneur and are just looking for something to connect with and feel like someone's speaking to you, then this book is fantastic. I whipped through it so quickly and I've like filled it with highlights and underlines and all sorts of stuff because it, there was just so many good gems filled in this book. So if you're looking for a good like business kind of read, then this is fantastic. Now, for those of you that also follow me on Instagram or Snapchat, whatever, probably Instagram stories though, um, you would have seen recently in prep for my fall shoe trends video that I was obviously going to different shoe stores. So I was pulling looks for that video. And of course, when you're looking through stores, you run through the danger of finding something else you really like. Shopping problems, shopping problems. But in my adventures in the store, I actually stumbled upon this fantastic purse from Aldo and I you know I'm not someone that buys purses all the time and I had actually been eyeing this one 
in the summer when it initially came out because I loved all the embroidery on it. I loved the patchwork. I loved the structure of this bag. I thought it was fantastic and kind of put it in the back of my mind because I was thinking, oh, like, you know, it's so trendy and, you know, I've got bags already and I'm someone that kind of gravitates towards the same ones all the time. I don't switch up my bags always. But when I saw it in the store, when I was pulling out the shoes, something was just speaking to my soul and I could not resist purchasing this. It was about $55 or maybe 60. I can't remember. Um, but I love the white. I love bright bags like this. Anyway, but it comes in a black and also a dark green with the embroidery on it. The white was just speaking to me in particular. And you guys know me so well because when I was, when I posted it on my Instagram story and then I featured it in my Style Squad Facebook group and then later on Instagram, all of you were like, I knew you were gonna get that bag. <laughs> has known me well enough to know that, but it's super roomy. I love the chain detail on here and it has a huge, huge inside for lots of room. And then there's another like back zipper on the back here. And I've been using this constantly. So this is a fantastic bag. So if you're looking for something kind of fun and trendy, um, but with a little bit of structure to it, then I highly recommend this bag from Aldo. I know they're still there. They're so awesome. I love, love, love this. A beauty favorite of mine has actually been, well, actually I got a couple beauty things, but for makeup, I have a lipstick line that I have been absolutely loving that I kind of got away from. And then I've come back at with full force and enthusiasm. And that is the Bite Beauty Amuse Bouche lipsticks. And um, they are just so beautiful. First of all, let's talk about the scent, which has this, ugh like light candy licorice smell. And I am not a licorice lover. So maybe that's not the right way to describe it, but it has the most sensational smell ever. Every time I put these lipsticks on, I'm just like, oh, these lipsticks are so creamy and super, super pigmented and they're effortlessly lightweight and very hydrating. So when you have them on your lips, they just feel like such a luxury and treat. I really love them. And Bite Beauty is Canadian, so I'm all for supporting Canadian brands, although you can find this in Sephora stores absolutely everywhere. But this lipstick brand is absolutely gorgeous and I really, really love them. So I'd had a couple last fall that I was using and started with a couple moody shades already because I'm constantly saying how much I'm looking forward to the fall season and then ended up picking up a few more from Sephora recently just because I loved them so much and I couldn't believe that I had ever gotten away from them because I love them so much. And I just love their really beautiful sleek packaging. It's sort of this matte charcoal gray, which I thought was absolutely beautiful. And then, like I said, the actual like lipstick color is beautiful. Like it's so, so pigmented and creamy. Like, look at that. Ooh, it is absolutely gorgeous. This color I'm showing you here is called Ginger Snap, um, but they will quickly be a lipstick line that I think I want to collect the full thing on because there isn't a color I don't like. In a very unpopular opinion, one of my other favorite beauty items this month has been the Anastasia Subculture eyeshadow palette. I'm sure you guys have seen all the up and down reviews regarding this eyeshadow palette. And it was supposed to be, whoops, it was supposed to be the sister palette to the Modern Renaissance, which I'm sure you guys have heard. I'm not gonna, and I just dropped the brush. Perfect. Now, I'm not gonna review this palette in detail because I feel like it's been done to death, but I will say that I really enjoy this palette. I love the pigments. It's perfect for the fall time. It's got that great fall time palette. However, I will say that if you are someone that is a beginner with makeup or if you're someone that hasn't isn't used to using a lot of eyeshadows and you're not familiar with blending out the eyeshadows really well, then this is not a palette for you. I would definitely say these are for the more experienced makeup artists or those that are experienced with makeup or familiar with working with different types of eyeshadows because this one is super finicky. So I would kind of say it was a miss from Anastasia in terms of making it for an everyday consumer because I don't agree with that. But for me, because I deal with makeup with my clients um, and then I just love makeup and creating different looks with my eye looks as well, this is fantastic. I love the colors and I don't mind the fallout and all the crazy problems that people are talking about. It's just because it, this acts like more of a loose powder for an eyeshadow, which is kind of strange. But like I said, I really do love the colors and it's the perfect fall oriented palette. But if you're looking for something similar and you are a beginner looking to get into these colors, there's lots of videos on dupes for this or the Jeffree Star Androgyny palette is also very, very similar. So I highly recommend looking at that. But if you're someone that doesn't mind finessing with some shadows and you're a little bit more experienced with makeup, then definitely check this palette out. I actually really, 
really love it. So unpopular opinion, I know, but I do, I like it. Now this month, I also feel like Aldo just took all my cash. Just, I was having a love affair with all their stuff in the store right now. And you guys would have seen that I pulled quite a few things from Aldo for my fall shoe trends video, which if you have not seen that, I will link that video down below for all of you. Um, but there were a couple shoes that once I put them in the video, they never returned back to the store. <laughs> the first of um, the shoes that never went back are these fantastic boots. These are almost like a combat boot style with a slight platform. Um, and then it has this fantastic patchwork detail on the side of it. This was definitely a love at first sight for me when I pulled these to do the fall trends video and even told the girls in the store when I was like checking out with them to borrow them that this was something that I was going to buy as soon as I came back because I just, oh, they have scream 90s to me, um, but I kind of love the playfulness of this embroidery, especially, or sorry, the patchwork, especially because it's sparkly and it's got this really fun, kind of playful vibe about it with some pleated skirts. And uh, I can definitely see me wearing this with like leather leggings and longer tunics in the fall as well. I cannot wait to style this multiple ways. And although I don't have it in the boot right now, this also came with like bright purple laces as well to match um, like the pinky purple kind of uh, glitter that's up top. So I'm so pumped about that. And I definitely will be throwing that into the boot later on. So these ugh, won my heart over huge. Like I'm obsessed. Other pair of Aldo shoes that I featured in the video, which are these like really liquid silver metallic shoes. Um, if you guys have been watching my videos or stalking my Instagram for a while, you will see that I picked up a very like similar kind of finish in a ankle boot um, that were from Kurt Geiger towards uh, the beginning of spring this past year and i just love how this kind of metallic looks the only downside is that liquid metallic shoes like this also scuff super easy so i'm hoping that this or at least that was my experience with the boots so i'm hoping that will not happen with these shoes but i mean look how freaking gorgeous these are i also picked up this same metallic shoe from aldo in the pink which i didn't feature in the video but they have the same color in like a liquid like pink metallic they're so gorgeous so aldo you stole my heart this month. You stole my heart. Love, love, love this shower gel. This is by Trade Lolia, Lolia Mark, L-O-L-L-I-A, Lolia Mark, I don't know. And it's called Breathe Peony and White Lily Perfumed Shower Gel. And I have been using the same shower gel for years, um, which is the Body Shop Grapefruit Shower Gel. I love, love, love that shower gel. I've been using it for such a long time. And I ended up getting this one in a Fit Fab Fun Box, I believe last summer. And because I was always using the same shower gel, this kind of got shoved to the back and I forgot about it. And anyway, long story, not so short. I finally finished my grapefruit one and then found this and decided to use it. And the smell of this, Oh my God, guys, it is possibly one of the most beautiful, whoops, spilling your room. Oh my God, it's one of the most perfect smelling shower gels I've ever smelled in my life. It smells like something you would use in a spa. It smells exactly like peonies, which if you are as obsessed with peonies as I am, you will absolutely think this is a delicious treat to use on your body. It is so gorgeous and lightweight, and it's not a heavy perfume scent where you just I don't know, some of them I find a little bit overwhelming, but this is just the right amount of perfume and it feels so luxurious rubbing it on my body with a loofah or whatever. And I just love the fragrance that it gives off. So every time I end up using this in the shower and I open the cap, I always think like, oh, this smells so good. Like I just can't help but repeat that to myself. So I highly recommend you guys hunting this down and giving it a try. I'm not really quite sure where you would find it, but I'm gonna try and search around online. And if I can, I will find a link for it and leave it in the description box down below. Anyway guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked this video while you were watching it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, please also don't forget to hit the little red subscribe button down below and head on over to Facebook to join me on the Style Squad. And other than that guys, I love you to bits and pieces and I will see you in a couple days. Mwah. See ya.